Okay, let's go over some main ideas and some examples for dividing polynomials. Here's our first example. We are dividing this polynomial, these three terms, 12x squared minus 15x plus 18, divided by 6x. So we've got here just one term, a monomial. No adds, no subtracts, just a 6x. So when we see that we're dividing by a monomial, just one term, this is definitely the easier type of divide that we'll have to do. Your approach is pretty straightforward. We want to take these three terms from our dividend and create three separate fractions where these three terms are going to be the numerators. And this 6x is going to be the denominator from each of these fractions. It's going to look something like this. We have 12x squared over 6x. We have negative 15x over 6x. And finally, the positive 18 over 6x. Your next move is to simplify these three fractions individually. And when we're simplifying fractions, you can definitely look at the number parts, the coefficients first, and simplify those, and then deal with the variables. That's my approach. So for this first fraction, I'm looking at this 12 over 6 simplifies to equal the whole number 2. With the variables, an x squared in the numerator with 1x in the denominator will have some x's cancel. We'll have over just 1x. This first fraction, after we simplify it, is 2x. Let's move to this middle fraction. The negative 15 over 6 does not divide evenly like 12 over 6 does. So the best we can do is just try to simplify this fraction and keep it an improper fraction. So we've taken this negative 15 over 6. We can divide numerator and denominator both by 3. That will leave us with this negative 5 over 2. In terms of the variables, x over x, those cancel. We, do, we don't have any variables to bring down for this, this middle fraction. OK, the third one, we have a positive 18 over 6. That's going to give us a nice whole number, the positive 3. And the variables, we have just an x in the denominator, no variables in the numerator. So we're not going to see any canceling. You need to be careful, though, that this x, which came to us in the denominator, it needs to stay in the denominator. If we had a positive 3x, that would be bad. It wouldn't be so bad. It would be incorrect, though. But we should have a positive 3 over x. This x should still be in the denominator. And we'll just do a little cleanup, put these guys back together in a nice row. So it looks like 2x minus 5 over 2 plus 3 over x. And that's it. Here's an example that uh, you should try. So put the video on pause and take a few minutes to work this example. Your approach is going to be just the same approach we had for this previous example. So put this on pause, take a few. If you need to restart the video to see the steps, you can do that. And when you have your answer, come right back to the screen. And hopefully you have come up with, for your answer, x squared minus 5x over 2 plus 3. These are fun. They're sort of, kind of, kind of, sort of fun. So here's one more for practice. Uh, pause the video and work through this problem. It's going to be the same approach again. And, and I know it's the same approach because here is our divisor. And it has just one term. We're not seeing any adds and subtracts. And usually that's our clue that we have several terms. So no adds, no subtracts. We know that this 4x squared is just one term. And that means we take the same approach of splitting this polynomial up into separate fractions. OK, so take a few and try this one out. And hopefully you are coming up with, for your answer, 11x over 2 minus 2 over x minus 10 over x squared.